going on guys welcome back to the channel so i know it's been a while since i've been behind the camera but i'm trying to do better at this video thing honestly i just haven't been feeling like filming any installs or any other car videos but i figured why not jump back right on here and you know continue to pursue my passion and try not to be so lazy so figured i'd show you guys what's new with the car since my last update i believe the last video was the vertex wheel install i'll do another milestone mod overview video sometime but figured i'd just give you guys a quick overview of what's new so i didn't even clean the car i'm just this is straight back from a trip and just daily driving just haven't really cleaned it up now we have some brz headlights so i traded the vlans for these love these a lot better i just think it cleans up the car a lot better and you know you can't beat oem quality got some brz headlights now I'm trying to think of what else i have changed i think interior i already covered before you know it's funny as i'm walking around my car i'm trying to remember what i changed since the last video the bridge stradia 3 is in there kind of hard to see from this lighting but they got a bridge stradia 3 passenger seat trd door stabilizer I mean, the vertex wheel is the last major thing i mean i have the dog fight set of four there but i think you guys knew that already you know i came out here look to make this video thinking i had a lot of new updates but it's just really some minor things i guess but anyway how's everyone doing it's been a long time and i know sometimes i'm not the most responsive comments or messages and i really need to work on that so what are my future plans for this car well, we are really just getting started with this car right now. I'm really trying to dial in the exterior. I mean, this is just the first phase and by no means is this is it. There's going to be more. But I actually did recently order a Varus hood. Um, that should be here, hopefully at some point. And I think that would just complete the entire look I was going for this. So I'm definitely going for more of a attack style. You know, less drift or less stance, more of the time attack style, you know, <laughs> for a car that hardly will see the track. I mean, I promise you guys, it will happen eventually. I just think I want to enjoy the car, you know, on the street. For now, until I get a little bit more, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, the Ferris hood should tie this all together. I'm probably going to keep it carbon as well. I just think I love the contrast of a white car, carbon hood. I think it's gonna flow very well with everything else I got going on here. So this car has only ever been on TEs ever since I got it. Honestly, I'm pretty content with how this looks right now, but I am definitely open to change the wheel setup. I was thinking, you know, some CE28, Advan GT, Advan TC4, and maybe an Advan RZ F2, but T's are good for now. Whether you think they're overrated or not, I still love these wheels. They're the best. Check out this out here, you guys. It's such a beautiful day today. Figured I'd take the car out to Redding. I mean, the drive kind of sucks getting here, but um, I think it was worth it. I haven't been out here in so long, and it's just good to capture the essence of the beautiful weather and the beautiful car right over there. So I do have some upcoming shows I plan to attend. We got Turner Evo, we got Week Fest, Boxer Fest, and then I might go to this uh, Auto Expo thing in Allentown. But Boxer Fest, guys, so my plan is to actually secure a vendor space for Katana Style. So you know, Katana Style, we're still active. I still cut stickers. I still fulfill orders, but definitely the creative development hasn't been the best. But figured if we secure a vendor space at Boxer Fest, it will definitely motivate me to create more and also get the brand out there to the community. So it's nothing crazy. I think I'm going to try to secure a 10 by 10 spot unless you have one car. So, you know, we got to start small somewhere. I'm definitely not ready for a whole giant setup. We were nowhere close to that, but I figured this will help get the name out there some more. And I figured a lot of you guys are Subaru fans. So Boxer Fest is definitely the place to kind of showcase the brand. And hopefully by then, I have a good product lineup to display. So with the vendor space, I do plan to have the entire sticker collection available. I do want to do some more hats, some shirts, and anything else I can think of. And also my best friend Andy is going to also be selling some of his 3D printed products. So that's the plan. Hopefully it goes well, honestly. I would just be excited if we ever just got one sale. But it's all good. I think anything is worth a try 
and you'll never know until you actually give it a go. So yeah, that's the plan guys. Boxer Fest is like last week of August or so. I think saying the last week or last week and hopefully by then we got everything set up so if you guys are in the area feel free to check out the booth at boxer fest <laughs> once i secure it and uh it should be a great time well anyway this video isn't much guys i mean just wanted to come back on here and update you guys on what's going on hopefully i can get the content back and rolling however i am on instagram i do post regularly all the updates to the car and everything like that so feel free to follow me at will.kgfx but i think i'm just going to drive around this area here and see what other spots i can park the car and take some photos i think it would be pretty cool I might do some right here reposition the car or something and uh, go from there but um hey guys hope you enjoy the rest of the video whatever that entails <laughs> and yeah, let's go ahead and start driving.